This happened yesterday. Drivers were forced to pull off to the side of the road until the storm moved on through. Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. And remember, if you want to see a rainbow, you know, maybe still some rain out there, put your back to the sun because there's going to be some sun out when that happens and then face the other way and then duck because of the hail, at least if you're in New Mexico. <laughs> Temperatures in the 60s and 70s right now. 71 Burlington, same thing in St. Albans, 70 in Morrisville, just a little bit cooler in Keene in northern New York. So temperatures, it took a while, but they did come up. We've got a 72 right now in Springfield, a couple of degrees cooler than that in Montreal. Hey, want to take you outside? We'll take a look along I-89 in Williston. The traffic is moving. No problem at all. Look at the clouds in the sky. We didn't get that much of a break today. Kind of the high thin clouds where from time to time the sun would come through, but from time to time it was pretty cloudy out there too. You can see that. As we speak, looking at Storm Tracker, we'll widen out a little bit. We've got a couple of batches of precip rain. Come on down to the south, also off to the west. I don't think this stuff to the south is going to bother us much, but this stuff to the west eventually will. It's going to kind of move our way down to the south and then pinwheel on in here. So tomorrow, while we're looking at the chance for a spot shower or even a thunderstorm during the afternoon, the likelihood is not very high at all. But I will say this, the day after that, it's going to be wetter around here. Here's the deal for tomorrow. Mix of sun and clouds. First thing in the morning, about 54 degrees, 7 o'clock. We're going to 70 by lunchtime. I do think when you add it all together here, we end up with more clouds than sunshine. That's the case into the afternoon as well. Temperatures will be in the 70s. However, we could find just the outside chance for a shower or even a thunderstorm. You're going to see that on Futurecast here. 7.30 tonight, not too much going on. We'll take you through the overnight after we see what amounts to cloudy periods. I do think more clouds, central Vermont, and especially southern Vermont and southern New Hampshire. This is the beginning of tomorrow, so I'm thinking partly sunny, first thing in the morning, then more clouds by the afternoon, and just a few areas where we see a pop-up shower outside chance for a spot thunderstorm. Likelihood is not very good. It would be in your backyard. I just think we're going to find a few of these on the weather map tomorrow afternoon. Then we cl uh, quickly clear tomorrow night. On Thursday, clouds are going to thicken up, and here we go with the rain by a little bit later in the afternoon. This is 5 o'clock. It's coming from the south to the north. So it's late afternoon, evening time in the Champlain Valley, and then as we tor uh, get toward the Canadian border. Now, Friday at this point looks pretty wet as well. We're going to find periods of rain around here, and that's something we will certainly continue to watch for you. So cloudy periods tonight. It's going to be mild, 52 degrees. That's it for a low. And here comes your tomorrow. Now, again, when you add it all up here, I think we're looking at more clouds than sunshine. Places like Plattsburgh, where it's going to be 70, 71 Saranac Lake along with Malone. And again, more clouds than sunshine in Burlington, 75. Middlebury, same thing. 72 degrees Montpelier, thinking about 72 degrees in St. Johnsbury. I think a better chance for a little bit of sunshine with more clouds a little bit later on as we head toward Ludlow, 70 degrees. Brattleboro at 74 degrees. Here comes your five day forecast. We'll take that 75 tomorrow to 54 tomorrow night. And then on Thursday, clouds are thickening up. Showers coming from south to north late in the day and then into evening time. That's your Thursday. Friday looks wetter. Showers around here. It's going to be cooler by then too. 60 degrees. I like Saturday. Looks all right. Partly sunny 72. Marathon coming up on Sunday. Right now looks like the chance for a shower or two, but mainly in the afternoon for run time. At this point, it looks pretty good, 73 degrees. Memorial Day coming in on Monday, not thrilled. Looks for some rain showers that day and kind of looks like showers on Tuesday as well. High that day, 71 